the first thing. It's probably green. It definitely was. I thought Moose actually gave, I think it was like a seaweed. Yeah, I think. Uh, like a seaweed crisp uh, or something. I said earlier that something. Was it a kale chip? Yeah, is that what you mean? Come on. He gave me one of those. I was like, no, I can't eat this, bro. I want this one. Yeah, if this is what healthy is, bro, maybe I'm not there yet. Maybe I'm not there yet. Hey, we're um, Brother Andre's senior now and sort of been a big brother to all of the Buckeyes. So as the guy who's been his little brother all along, what is he like as a big brother? Uh, same dude, you know, Jay's just gonna, like, he always, he leads by example, you know, he's not going straight off the path of doing what he's supposed to do, he's going to tell you when you're wrong, he's going to tell you when you're right, stuff you need in a leader, and I just feel like he's, he's helped me with that through my whole life, but now he's putting it in the whole program, I feel like that's really going to help him. He was like that even when you guys were younger and maybe you weren't? Basketball players. Oh yeah. If you ask, if you even ask my parents, it was definitely Dre. Dre why don't you do what Dre does? <laughs> it was definitely one of those situations. So just now, I feel like he's just putting it in the program, like I said, and I feel like it's going to help us all. Thank you, Caleb. To make the the physical changes you've made it takes a lot of discipline. It sounds like a lot of people struggle to you know, change your bodies the way you did. Like you did it pretty quickly too. Like what, when did you develop the discipline to do that? Um, I feel like in most off seasons, I feel like I've, I've dropped weight and then gained it back. But um, I feel like it's just it's just now. I feel like just seeing that 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 level of, of where I am now, as far as where I was at the end of the year, I feel like it's night and day. So like I just feel like now it's it's a lifestyle choice instead of just trying to drop weight for the summer, or trying to drop weight for just the season. It's now I'm making a lifestyle choice. How how into like nutrition are you now? Do you just basically eat what they tell you to eat, or are you? Do you find yourself studying nutrition? Um, it's mostly to eating what they tell me to eat, but you know, it's it's a lot of just I try to drink no water. I feel like before I was I was drinking like I said sodas, juices, and stuff, just not thinking it was it was empty calories, which it really is. So I feel like that really helped me a lot. But um, I feel like talking more with the nutritionist also helped me. You know, doing body comps more often, figuring where I'm at weekly, monthly, stuff like that really helped too. I know you had goals, obvious goals when you got to college of wanting to, to change your body so you can get to the NBA. Are you ahead of where you thought you might be at this point? Or, or are you behind? Like where, where you seem drastic. What, what uh, you do? I mean, I've definitely, like I said, I took a step. But uh, as far as like my athleticism and you know, I like how fast I am, stuff like that, I feel like there's still room for improvement for sure. So I wouldn't say I'm ahead or behind, but I'm, I'm on the right path. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely yeah. taking the upward path on it. You said you tried to lose weight in the off season and you gained it back. Before college, had you ever tried to lose weight before? Um, actually, I did. My, my sophomore year in high school, I was 325. And then, my, no, not sophomore, junior year. Um, going into my senior year, I was like, like 270. So that kind of helped me as far as just my senior year numbers and me and my ability to move on the court, stuff like that. When was the last time you were 255? I, I couldn't tell you. Maybe my, I don't, I don't think my freshman year in high school I was 255. I don't even know. I, 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 I ain't seen this number in a minute. <laughs> I, ain't seen, I ain't seen that number in a minute, but yes. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't even tell you to be honest. When you're when you're trying to lose weight, I imagine there's like a feeling of where you want to get to, how you want to feel when you get there. Does it feel similarly to how you imagine when you're on the court and you're playing at the way you are yeah. right now? As far as just like I said, and the, the way I'm moving, the, how fast I'm moving, getting to spots and stuff, it feels better, like I thought it would. So that's what I was looking for. How immediate after the season did you start going to? Weight loss mode. Uh, call it. When we got back from from what's what was it, Tulsa, when we got back from Tulsa. I worked out the next day in uh, at Woodward Rec Center, where I, where I train at IBT. So that ever since then, that was when I really started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I grew up on this group. Thanks. Did you? At what point last year did you know that you were going to test the NBA? 
Um, I didn't really think about it towards the end of the, until the end of the season. You know, when I was just seeing different guys going in and they got the rule where you can get an agent and stuff. I looked at that and I decided not to get one. Just I decided that was just I might as well look and see where I'm at. You know, you can do it twice. So I just thought I'd do it now and then see where I end up. So without an agent, uh, was it Mike Nettie who was helping you a lot with getting stuff? No schedule. Yeah, he was. He helped me a lot. Him, Carly, uh, Coach Holdy, even Coach T. You know, they were all part of the process as far as even meeting with some agents and deciding not to go with them. Six game road. Did your family? What did your family think about the agent part of it? Your parents? Oh, uh, I mean, they they just wanted me to be happy. You know, they wanted. It was my decision. You know, they tried to they tried to help me as far as just choosing the right person if I was going to choose somebody, but. They're just, they're, they were just happy to see where I was, you know, just, just letting me know that they support my decisions. Stuff like that. When you were going through that process, how much of your time, like in between the NBA workouts, was spent here working out, and how much were you working out on the road? Um, it was all outside. I stayed, I stayed mostly, like I said, at Woodward Park working out with IBT. Like they've been with me since elementary school. You know, they're a big part of my development. I feel like just staying with them really was where I wanted to be. Was it? Sorry, was, um, I was gonna say, like, so that if you stayed the weight you ball you would still be good in the college level. What made you want to make this drastic change? If you could have made small changes too and been improving, but you wanted to make something drastic. Um, I mean, my goal, that's that's like a lifetime goal for me, was to play in the NBA, and, and that's what they wanted to see me. They wanted to see me at a lower weight. And like I said, I didn't see the year before a lot of people in the draft who were 6'9", 280, 6'9", 290, so... Uh, I just seen it as as something I had to do to achieve my goal. Probably the most. Who 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 specifically told you? Which people in the NBA told you that they wanted you lighter? Twenty eight five. Um, really all of them. You know, that since even when I, both my workouts, the Hawks and the Celtics told me that they want to see me at a lighter weight and see what I can do at a lighter weight. Who 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 do you talk to in those workouts? I'm not exactly sure who you're getting feedback from. Um, yeah, there was everybody was there. I seen um, what's the coach from the Celtics? Uh, yeah, Brad Stevens was in the gym. A coach from the Hawks was in the gym, Chris Jett was in the gym, uh, Danny Ainge was in the gym when I was with the Celtics, so everybody's there. So you meet those guys after the workout, shake hands, everything, and they just give you little tidbits and tips you could use. You said that there's not a lot of people you saw in the draft who were 6'9", where the line is from, nobody shoots. Who are you trying to be in the NBA? Do you have, are you looking at people who are your size now that you think you can be? Is there, do you have to Guys that I can just take little things out of the game from, like uh, Nikola Jokic, DeMarcus Cousins, you know, guys who, right, right. who prey on the perimeter, but they're also bigger guys that play on the post. You see a lot of this year, Jokic is interesting. He's like, he's like a playmaker. He's a playmaker big out uh, there, kind of like you with your passing ability. Is that how you envision yourself at the next level when you get there? Is being, you know, you're not. You're not a back to the basket big because those guys don't really exist all that much anymore. But it's not just picking and popping. You can be out there and create a play. Right? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's something, like I said, just take stuff out of the game. You know, both of them, the Marcus Cousins and the Jokic are playmakers out there on the perimeter. But if they need to, they're out there, they're down there rebounding, getting 20, I mean, 15 plus boards a game. So guys like that just taking stuff out of their game really helped me a lot too. So it was like the mid range. How often are you looking at people? Those uh, players? Yeah, I mean, um, daily. You know, I'm, I'm on YouTube a lot. You know, just seeing this little stuff and just stuff like that. Even taking stuff out of out of people like like JT Kata. You know, guys that I played with. When they come back, they tell me little things that they do overseas that really helps them. Stuff that that's not gonna get called overseas that they call now. Stuff like that. Was it, uh, I know at the end of the day you had to do what's best for yourself so as an individual. Was it hard it's at all still, to make a decision to go into the draft because of <coughs> what the perception of it might be? Like some people might unfairly view that as like a selfish decision, but in the end you're just trying to do what's best for you. I don't know if you weighed that at all when you made the decision. Yeah, like you said, yeah, that's it. it's definitely yeah, like what's I'm best for you at the end of the day, but... I, I definitely yeah, saw a little bad stuff, stuff for guys. Yeah, you know, why is he leaving this, that, and the third? I just felt like, you know, it is my life and stuff that I need to do to get better for what I'm trying to do for my family and me. So I feel like that was just something like you're going to see for yourself. So I just like water off so like Papa Duck's back. You, know, just, you see it in the next year. Next thing. Do you um, talk with your teammates you, all about it? Just to make sure that you were all really safe about what you were doing? Yeah, you know, they, they supported my decision too. You know, they wanted me to do that and see where I I, was, and I even come back and tell them like what the workouts, yeah, like what, what it's like when they want to go. So 
So I feel like that that helps them. It helps me a lot. With um, they're sending you to Chicago for media days, which usually doesn't happen for juniors. They're recruiting, I think, to protect against the possibility that this might be your last season. Is that at all in your head that if everything goes the way you want it for yourself and for the team, this might be your last season in college basketball? I don't really think about it like that. You know, like I said, you know, we're focused on the day-to-day -day right now, to be better right now, the way we're going to cue, making sure our defense is tight, making sure we're plays to a cue. You know, so I don't really think about stuff like that. I mean, it'd be nice, but as far as I'm concerned right now, we, we got to go to the Cedarville on October 30th. We got to win that one. You sit down with Chris Holtman after the year and talk about, like, you're coming back right now, but next year if you go through it again, like, you never know what will happen. Uh, we haven't really had that conversation. You know, like I said, it's been, me, and, me and Coach Holt on the same page as far as right now we're focused on the day-to-day. You know, like I said, you know, our defense runs, offense run to a cue. Will you, will you play any differently um, at your weight right now for Ohio State? I know what, what you want to do in the NBA, but for Ohio State, are you, do you think you'll play much differently than you did last year? Yeah, the coaches, they definitely want to see what I can do as far as more on the perimeter, you know, pick and pop situations. Like you said, make a play, a play making on the perimeter as far as more than back to the basket because, you know, that part of the game is kind of leaving. I don't know if you thought that about us, but you're a veteran now, but you're you just give them like a rundown of the four freshmen. The four yeah, freshmen, yeah, like yeah. I said, they all bring they all bring different things to the game. You know, DJ is up and down. You know, he's really fast, athletic. So same way, runs the floor, can jump real high. DJ IQ, he's just he's, he's way above the you know, freshman. You know, he's, he's he, right now. He's he's hurting. He's going through stuff right now. So it's really just you know, trying to help him out. But and then you got Eve, the seven foot shot blocker, run the floor like a deer. You know, guys like that. That's what you really need. And they're all they're all hard workers. You know, they're everybody. They, don't, they just want to put their head down to work just like everybody else. I mean, I really help the program right now. So some of the guys that you've seen like, kind of step up as leaders on this team. So like in your um, post, like, I guess, how does that no, help what you want to do definitely. Definitely. I mean, it's definitely going to help as far as trapping goes, and, like the way they can recover. But you know, we're all like I said, the like, they, they want to be more on the perimeter anyway. So like displacing the floor, I feel like it's going to help everybody. 